Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here and this is going to be my first game on the Xbox One on FIFA 14 so I'm just going to play the entire game and upload this. Uh, if you don't like it, let me know, that's fair enough. This is probably going to be a one-off anyway unless I have a topic to talk about. Um, basically I'm just doing this because it is a new generation of gaming obviously and it is a huge thing so you know I thought I might as well upload my first game. Knowing my luck, it'll be 8-0 loss, but, you know, whatever the result is, is that's how it goes, I suppose. Uh, I'm playing an online single match, not doing any seasons or tournaments or anything, yet. Um, I've played an offline game on this, because when you load it up, if you don't have an Xbox One or a PS4, well, I'm not entirely sure if it does it with a PS4, but it probably will. Basically. It loads up and you play the El Clasico and you play it as Barcelona. I think it's just to, I don't know, I think it's to show off the stadiums and the like designs and stuff. And uh, when you end the game, it shows you outside the stadium. I don't know if it just does that with the new camp or whether it does it with old consoles. Uh, consoles, <laughs> stadiums, uh, we'll see, I suppose. I don't know what his stadium is, probably Anfield because his... Uh, what do you call it? Team is Liverpool, well it's badge, and that's a nice England squad. Corker in form, Rooney, Heskey, haha, <laughs> get in, get in, I've never played anyone with Heskey on this. Strong, solid team, so this should be a good match. Uh, yeah, one thing I noticed, I mean look at that, look at how quick it got in to the game, oh god, please don't lag. If it lags then that's my internet, it's not the Xbox. I mean, oh, I just love the graphics. I've been playing Rise um, before I played this, just because oh, it just looked so good, and I'm 1-0 down already. Oh my god. Well, good start to Xbox One. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I was playing Rise, and the graphics are just unbelievable. The gameplay as well, it's brilliant, smooth, fluid, everything. Um, the only thing I've done on FIFA 14, apart from the El Clasico match, is the pack opening, which should be up by now. Um, probably got uploaded yesterday, which is today for me. I did it at the same day, the 22nd, which is the first day the Xbox Ones came out. Uh, I've played a couple of games of Ghost, and one thing I'd note is um, the console... Uh, sorry, with it. Damn, I should have took the free kick. Um, the controller... Uh, the slightest touch of LT will aim down and the slightest touch of RT will shoot so you need to be careful. It also improves the speed of your shot so if you are like really really good at ghosts or whatever then you should find the speed uh, very good. I didn't actually record that and um, I lost the recording of Rise like because I was going to originally upload like the first mission of Rise or whatever. So um, I can redo it easily, like I enjoy the game so much and it'll probably be better anyway because I know how to play it properly and that was a shocking touch. So yeah, if you do want anything like that, like let me know because I'm willing to do playthroughs or whatever. Like if you want face cam, I can do face cam. If you want live com, I can do live com. If you don't want any commentary at all, I can do that. That's even easier on my half. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I'm willing to do that. I'll probably be getting another game in the next couple of days. Because uh, if you haven't seen my unboxing, I got Ghosts, I got Rise, obviously the FIFA with the Xbox One. Um, I got uh, Pacific Rim, the DVD for free. Well, sorry, the Blu ray for free. And uh, 12 Months Xbox Live, which came with the Killer Instinct download. I've played Killer Instinct a little bit, and uh, I don't know, I don't think it's really my type of thing. I mean, I played a little bit of Mortal Kombat and stuff, but I don't know, it, it bores me after a while. It's not my type of game, I suppose. But, you know, it's always nice. Free game. Um, I've also tried the Connect Sports Rivals pre-season, because that's free. Uh, I think it's a 3.21 gigabyte download, and that is... It's pretty fun. Um, it's hard for it to recognise in my room, though, like Connect, because like I have my bed here, and... Um, yeah, sometimes it doesn't recognise my feet, like, in the video, so that's a little bit of an issue, but that's 
nothing wrong with the Kinect, like it detects me from, I think I'm about one and a half feet away and it detects me perfectly like for Skype and everything and stuff like that, it's just when you want to like be standing up and everything and it's a little bit difficult, but yeah it was quite fun, um, it was water boating or whatever the hell it is, I, I don't know what you call it, um, but yeah I played that, so yeah, it's definitely a lot more responsive than the Kinect original. Like, um, all the voice commands are brilliant. Like, uh, I think I showed in my setup video, like the, I'm not going to say it now, but, um, well, if you tell the Xbox to um, use a code, it will, like, literally use a code and you can scan it. Uh, honestly, it, it the Kinect is very, very responsive. It honestly first time for the majority of things it'll recognize what you're saying unless you've said it wrong obviously and it, it just does it straight away i honestly love this console it's so much quicker than the 360 the graphics are unbelievable and one of the best features i think about this console is that um you can basically like be in a game like i might show you at the end of this and you can dashboard and um, basically the game's still running but it's paused like it wouldn't work online obviously because you're online but if you're offline like on Rise you press the guide button you could go check your achievements you could go on Sky you could I don't know you could watch a film whatever and um, then go back onto the game as long as the discs in obviously uh, and it'll just resume from where you were and 2 nil down this is shocking I knew I'd, like, well, it's only 30 minutes gone, but I bet you I'll lose this, like, it's just my luck, isn't it, but, to be honest, it's not all about the gameplay, it's, like, me talking to you, this is the first time I've ever done this type of thing, uh, I just want to try a lot of things, because the Xbox One is obviously a new generation, so maybe new direction for my channel, I mean, I'll still bring Who Performs Best, because uh, I do like that series, and since I came up with it, and it's my series, uh, I don't know, it feels really, really good, so, I know a lot of uh, people who watch, uh, who have watched my videos like that series, uh, I think the first episode with Aguero and Soldados on 2.5 thousand views, which is insane, like all my other videos, I think have around 100, 200, and then there's a couple that have like a thousand, but they've been out for quite a while, and then there's that one that's had 2,500, and I think it's had 30 likes, something around that area, so yeah, I'm hoping to grow, um, like soon so I can apply for a gaming partnership, so I can get like some exclusive benefits, um, get help with like copyright stuff just to make sure I'm not copyrighting actually have legal permission to monetize my videos with gameplay in them so I'll be earning a little bit of revenue but I assure it's not all about the money like I love what I do like it's just a hobby and since in university uh, when I go in two years I want to study media so it should help like some basic video editing and stuff like that uh, it should definitely help, so it's good to write on my UCAS form if anyone's applying for uni or whatever. It's definitely good. Yeah, this is just like random stuff really now. It started off with the Xbox One and now yeah, I'm talking about um, what I want to do with uni and gaming partnerships and stuff. Like, um, there's one that, um, that I did apply to but they said uh, I didn't have enough views at the minute was Social Blade. I'm looking to reapply soon. Um, when I get a few more views so yeah all the support is really really helpful and the reason I ask for likes is if they like, someone doesn't know how YouTube works basically the more likes you have the further up in the pages it is so if you searched FIFA 14 pack opening like I'll probably be on like page 100 or something like that but the more likes the higher up in the pages you go and some people do like I don't know, people who are watching this might have scrolled through a few pages. Like, I don't do that too often, but I have. So, you know, it really does help, like, any likes, any comments, because that also, like, what do you call it, gives me an idea of what you want from my channel. So, yeah, anything, any support, and, like, 
it's just great, like, I lost my trail of thought there, but yeah, if you could also follow me on Twitter as well, that would be brilliant, like, the links are in every single video's description, they're on my banner, and, um, yeah, it's just so I can interact with you guys more, because, like, that's what all other YouTubers do anyway, and I don't know, it'd, it'd just be a good experience, I think, talking to my subscribers and interacting with them, doing giveaways, wager matches, pink slips, whatever. That would be very, very good. So yeah, like if you can follow, if you've got a Twitter account, then please, please do follow me. I think I've only got 25 followers, I think. Uh, and about 10 of them are like various companies or random ones. So, you know, probably about 15 subs, 10 to 15 subs have subscribed. But when I hit 50 subscribers, I'll start wager matches. Um, the only thing with that though is I don't think I'll be able to do it with 360. Like I've still got uh, FIFA and I've still got my 360 console, but everything transferred over. So I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that actually if you can like cross over. Because now I've moved to Xbox One, I don't know if I can get all my items back from Ultimate Team onto my 360. I don't know what the situation with that is. I'll find out and uh, get back to you, I suppose. But yeah. Like, if you've been like paying attention to the gameplay, like you'll see the differences. And I know I keep saying like, I've probably said like about 200 times. Ugh. It's an annoying habit that I need to kick out being a YouTuber, but yeah the gameplay is a lot different it's a lot smoother it's just a lot more realistic like a few minutes ago oh, I've said like again <laughs> a few minutes ago there was a header that my player missed and yes Balotelli and um, yeah he missed it and it, it just looks so much real, so much more realistic it's not like you're pressing and I've said like again it's not <laughs> I'm gonna have to say it. it's not like you're pressing X and it's automatically going to your player. It actually gives it a bit more realism that the player has a chance to miss. Um, so yeah, I really do enjoy everything about this console. Uh, I will eventually get the PS4 next year sometime. Um, but hopefully around March, April, so then I'll be on both consoles. Like, I said again, my god, I need to stop it. But um, it's... I don't know, like, I've seen uh, PS4 and Xbox One gameplay and they both look beast. I'm not going to show favouritism. The only reason I got the Xbox One first is because I did have an Xbox 360. I will be, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you say, like, blatant um, about the PS3. I think it was a lot worse than the Xbox 360. I did have a PS3, um, didn't like it and uh, I moved to Xbox because Started off on PS1 and PS2, they were way better than the Xbox original. I don't think anyone really disagrees with that. Um, and then the Xbox 360, in my opinion, was way better than the PS3. And now the Xbox One and the PS4 look to be extremely similar, which is good. Like, ugh, I've said it again, I really need to stop this. But um, yeah, they're both as good as each other by the looks of it. and anyone who's hating on either one of them just I don't know it's like completely pointless unless you have a valid problem with your console that makes you change to the other one then fair enough you have reason to dislike the other one but just saying oh it comes with the connect oh blah 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 or oh it's too chunky or the PS4 is like doesn't come with um, uh, I forgot what you call it. There's a couple of things it doesn't come with on launch. Uh, and like just complaining about little things like that is just so pointless. Like the Xbox One granted is very like it's not very, but it is big. It's a lot bigger than the PS4. But if you <laughs> I don't really care about looks, I care about performance and there's not one bad thing I've got to say about the performance of the console. If you're honestly going for looks, then you're an idiot, really. I mean, looks aren't everything in, in anything. That didn't make any sense. But basically, I'm trying to say don't judge it by what it looks like. The design of the console is really nice, in my opinion. But obviously, 
a lot of reviewers have said it, it's a bit bulky, it's a bit heavy, which is fair enough, but as I say, don't judge it on that, judge it on its performance, and for its performance, I've got nothing wrong to say with it, it hasn't caused me any problems yet, I know I've only been on it for a day, so fingers crossed that nothing's going to happen, uh, but at the minute, absolutely brilliant, I'd highly recommend it if you haven't got it. As I said in my unboxing, if you haven't seen, everything that I got on day one in game came to a total of £527. Uh, that was with a few discounts. And some people are moaning at the price, and this is another thing. When people compare the PC with a console, you can't compare PC yes, two, two, with a console because PCs come out like every week. And price isn't a factor, like they can cost five grand, it doesn't matter. A console has to balance price with performance, which is extremely important. Like the Xbox and the PS4 could cost like two and a half grand and could be as good as the most current PC. Like they come out every five years, so you can't really compare them. And they could be as good, but everyone would moan at the two and a half thousand price tag. I mean, people are moaning at 450 quid. I mean, look at the new iPhone, which I think is completely pointless, by the way. I, I, 600 odd quid for an iPhone 5S, 450 for an Xbox One, 300 and, no, 430 for an Xbox One, 350 for a PS4. I'm not going to go into a rant about iPhones or whatever. Um, but I just use that as a comparison. People are willing to pay that much for a phone. Granted, people get it on contract, but still, the overall price is around 600 and people moan at a console being 450 As I say, I'll go back to my original point. You can't compare a PC with a games console because ultimately a PC will always perform better because there's new ones every week and if you spend like two and a half grand, obviously it's going to be better. It's just got a lot more functions than a games console is supposed to be. Ultimately, a games console is supposed to play games. PC browses the internet, downloads and installs various programs, <laughs> records, does. You know what I mean? Like, it just do, it's designed for everything. A games console isn't. And this guy's decided to end it as a draw, so. Unfortunately, that is the end. I would have hoped to go to extra time. So, a pretty good result, actually. It's better than what I thought. 8 0 loss. 2 2, I'll take that. It's a draw. Let's have a look at the shots. He had 14, 7 on target, 50 50 possession, which is uh, pretty surprising. 8 shots for me, 6 on target, 2 2. And I'll quickly show you what I was on about about the dashboard. So, I've pressed the guide button. It's I should have done it in game, on an offline game, but uh, I don't know, I'll just go on my games and apps. Um, yeah, just go back on the dashboard, then go back on FIFA 14, it resumes it, advance, and there you go, it's just, that's my favourite feature with this console. But anyway, this is the first time I've done anything like this, so let me know if you enjoy it, or if you don't want me to do it again. Let me know about all the gameplays and stuff, like Rise, Ghosts, any other gameplays. I'm willing to do them, I really really do like this Xbox One. So yeah, please do like this video if you have enjoyed. Subscribe for daily FIFA 14 next gen content and possibly other content. And yeah, peace.